Well, it is freaking hot here for the final day of Dirt Cup. And as you can see, the track is thirsty. They have put loads of water on the steel because up in Washington, I think it's like 102 right now. And I guess that is uh, not very common. And where I come from, 110 to 115 during summer is pretty common, but it's a hot day. So they've added a little extra water, but I hope it slicks off for tonight's B mains. Tanner standing down here with me. What are, what are you thinking so far? Man, I'm actually a little concerned because I know tonight, like the final night of Dirt Cup doesn't get as many laps as the other two because they have heats and qualifiers on those nights and tonight's just like hot laps right into B mains. The Focus Midget get like their little A main and other than that, so yes, it is gonna burn off and I think the heat's gonna help, but you just never know because with the less laps, sometimes this place you get too much water on it and then it stays juiced up the whole night. So we are going to start P7, right? Seven, yep. And B number two. Uh, we got some we got some room to make up there, so uh, hopefully the track is slicked off in two lanes. If not, we're going to be in a world of hurt when it's one lane wide open. So it's a hot day, so I'm hoping the heat takes some of this water out of the track. So the fans are arriving, and with that said, I think it's time to jump right into the night. true factory SBR fashion here. Uh, I went down to the push truck guys and asked, hey, could I get a ride to video us pushing out sprint cars? So we're gonna take some laps around Skagit from the inside of this nice Ford right here. So uh, should be good. Hopefully we push off Tanner, I don't know though. So I don't know what the deal was right there, but uh, it was kind of cool to ride with the push truck there Those guys actually get up on it and rip when they're pushing cars off and then they have to get back around to push more cars off so uh, That was a new experience checked it off the bucket list Maybe later on down the road at different tracks. I can do that. But uh, up next is our B main. It's time to rip It is go time Here, Hunter come here yes, so y'all just saw in the clip right there and the walk around the car the car got wore out tanner was absolutely rolling on the top and i think it was just one of those things where it's like do or die and you know to make the main event here he had to just get up on it and then uh coming in three and four i saw like that rut developing and then uh, he kind of just got up there and 
it bit him and that and there's really nothing you can do and you know he didn't let off so that that wasn't the case it was just a kind of a circumstance type of deal for racing but you know it is what it is if, if it weren't for him trying to give it all he could on the last couple laps there uh, we would still be going home not in the main event so glad Tanner's okay he was he was good when he got out he said the head just hurts a little bit but uh, that's just because of you know shaking around in those cars flipping upside down probably don't feel well but we're gonna load this deal in and we'll probably assess the damages more back at home but uh, that was a wild one for sure so I'm also down here with one of my fans. His name is Jordan. Jordan, you live around here, right? Yeah, I live around here. Yeah, this is my local track, and um, I saw I saw that wreck with Tanner. I really hope he's okay. Yeah, that's that's awesome to hear that you hope he's okay. Jordan actually was also talking to me as well that he races dirt bikes. You're gonna race those sometime, right? Yeah, I ride a 450 motocross uh, Yamaha 2006. Heck yeah! So good luck to you, Jordan, and we'll see you a little bit later. You too. Oh, we so they're getting ready to do the driver intros over on the stage on the front stretch, but uh, tonight's main event's gonna be pretty stacked. I think I'm gonna have to go through who I talked to last night. Dominic Selzy is gonna be the man to lead all 40 laps and bring this one home. Uh, if it's not Dominic, I think it was probably gonna be the 16A of Justin Sanders. Now the reason I say Justin is it's kind of funny. He actually has a factory SBR sticker on the side of the wing there. So, uh, you know, factory SBR could put one car in the main event. If Factory SBR could put one car on the podium tonight, that would be pretty cool, especially Dirt Cup in the 360. So uh, one of those two drivers should win tonight, but I'm really hoping it's going to be Dominic Selzy. Anyways, it's going to be a good 40 laps to watch, and hopefully we get some dicey action down here in between turn three and four. There's a lot of people, so I hope the shots are pretty clear.
So for the last 32 laps, I got pretty boring, except for one or two laps in traffic. Han got past Selzy, and as you just saw, the 21 had just grabbed the wall and flipped, and Han just plowed him. So, you know, heartbreak city for Blake Han. He's done for, I don't think he's going to win. No way from the back. So now our front runners are going to be Selzy and Justin Sanders, one and two. My two picks, hopefully they can battle it out and uh, Dominic can come out on top. is about to get pushed back out. I guarantee you the crowd goes wild. I don't know if you guys can hear that from down here, but like I said, the crowd went nuts. The crowd actually lost it when Blake Hahn's new wing came across the track, uh, but that's pretty cool to see. Rookie mistake, someone did not the post on that deal. Wow, we are pissed. So one thing I wanted to mention here, and as you can see behind me, all of the fans that are down here, which is uh, <laughs> which is kind of nuts because when we were with the All-Star Circuit, literally right as the checkered flag dropped, so many people are loaded up in their trailers and out of there that a lot of the fans, I think, just kind of went home and or the supporting class ran uh, after the All-Star, so they didn't open up the pit. So, so many people were already gone, but check this out. With the ASCS National Tour here for Dirt Cup, so many people are here. All the rigs, except the one or two, I think, are gone. Or all the rigs, except one or two, are still here. So, a big thank you to everyone that comes out and says hi. This is why we do it. It's so cool to meet every one of you. Well, the lights are low around here at Skagit Speedway, except the few behind the main grandstands. And as you can see behind me, the board, which is pretty blurry, I understand on your screen, but it does say the number 41 atop of the charts. Now, Dominic did not lead the whole race like I had thought he would, but uh, he did lead, I think, the majority of it. Blake Hahn took the lead, and then you guys saw in that clip, he made a mistake with the car that actually flipped, and uh, that sent him to the rear of the field. But 
Dominic Selzy absolutely dominated this race. So, I mean, once he got out front with that final couple runs, I mean, I think it was like one or two runs at the end there because Sanders had lost a tire. So that sucks for Justin, but he was in a whole different area code. Like it was nuts. Once he got out front, he just checked out and that's just kind of how he's been lately. He's just on a roll. The number 41 Selzy Enterprises car is on a rail. So a big congrats to Dominic. That was awesome to watch. This whole weekend has been pretty cool with Tanner and I. Uh, you know, this track was tricky and it ended up biting us like you guys had seen there. Uh, we got up and over and we sent it big, but I guess that's just kind of what happens when you're going for it in the, the final transfer spots two in front of you in the B main. So uh, with that said, my name's Ben Aguch, and just because it's a ship box don't mean it ain't fast. I cannot wait to get back up to schedule. I can't wait to get back up into Washington for some racing. But anyways, it is time to go race the dwarf car here soon. I'll see you all later.